baseball fans from New York and Chicago about the announcer who made the expression, holy cow, his own. Chicago fans say unflinchingly it's Harry Carey. In New York, with every bit as much assurance, it's the scooter, Phil Rizzuto, whose life's little moments have become a big part of his broadcasting for an entire generation over the past 35 years. The scooter's drive to and from Yankee Stadium, for example, is, well, poetry. You know, when I think of the poetry of Phil Rizzuto, um, it goes right up alongside the poetry of Carl Sandburg, Walt Whitman. Anybody who's written about America the way they have has got to share some of the glory with number 10, the scooter. So I would like to read some of my favorite poems of um, Mr. Rizzuto and, and share some of those great thoughts with you. What is this? The selected verse of Phil Rizzuto? Uh-oh, the boss. Alienation. You know, I think my head shrinks a little in this indoor stadium. <laughs> I am. The mic is getting bigger, and I have to tighten it. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow! Oh, holy cow! Oh, look at that finish! Holy cow! Fly ball right field. It's gonna drop in. No, it's not gonna drop in. Holy cow! And a happy 46th wedding anniversary, Thomas and Mary Ann Clearwater. So that's it. The last three, six, nine, twelve Yankees went down in order. So that's it. The game is over. Kind of says it all, don't you think? <laughs> he, he, does the, he does a good job, too. <clears throat> it sounds more like me than I do. This one is called My Secret. This is a touching poem. I think Phil was uh, writing in a different mood in 1992, August 19th. Oakland at New York, Mike Moore pitching to Mel Hall. Fifth inning, one out, bases empty. Yankees leading four to one. This may be Phil's blue period. It's called My Secret. You know, when I'm driving to Yankee Stadium and back, I do it so often. I don't remember passing lights. I don't remember paying tolls coming over the bridge, going back over the bridge. I remember. Think about it. Do I sound like that? <laughs> Where's the full moon? Is that the moon? That's not the moon. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at John Moore he playing with it. almost tricked me. I'll never forget your first day up there. Mantle up. There's Mickey. Oh, he looks smaller from up here. Isn't it weird? It's just weird. There's a pitch from Steve Barber. There's a hole. Holy cow, that one is going to be grabbed by the shortstop. It's weird up here. You know what I mean? It's just weird. And I watch it, you know, I, I think that you would handle anything. <laughs> you Uncle Ferry said, some of these people, I want to tell you, they came all the way from New Jersey to bring these cannolis. Watch the, watch that. I want you to watch this now, folks. Watch this. Throws the glass. There it is. Now, that's not gentle. I want you to... Here's the award-winning cartoonist of the New York Daily News. If anything ever happened, I would want you at the mic. Here's Mattingly stepping in, and the uh, Yankees are down 2-1 here. Mattingly 2 for 3 here in the bottom of the 7th. It's looking better with the plate, the back loosening up. Wait, I've just been handed a bulletin. Five Russian ICBM missiles are headed towards America as Mattingly takes a ball rolling away. They're saying that they're going to be over four million killed. Holy cow. As Mattingly fouls it back up here, that's one and one. The escape routes, they want everyone to head up towards the Catskills. As Mattingly hits a bounding ball over to Chuck Noblock, he tosses it over to Kirby Puckett. What the hell is he doing at first base? Holy cow, everything's all nuts. So this could be our last... Yankee broadcast as they're saying that the uh, impact should be any second. So I'd like to take this time to wish a happy birthday to Dante Pizzanini over in Teaneck, who's got a miniature golf course that Cora and I love. So take care, everybody, and we'll see you. I'm on the bridge. I'm out of here. Well, the scooter's